this is Technomancer for zero point fuel. After my little experiment the other day, and I figured out that I can run this north south north south on the small wheel, what I decided to do here is do the same experiment on the Motor Lab motor. Uh, I'm going to run off wall current because I want it to be consistent. So my amperage out reading and my charge reading uh, will be consistent. If I flip the magnets, I'll know exactly the difference between the two. So I'm going to run it off the wall current. Get this a little spin. So we'll let it get up to speed. It's already putting 17 amps out. It's consuming 2.2 amps. 151 volts so normally it'll put out about 20 25 amps at 12 volts so you can see it's already up to 20 amps at 2.8 so configuration uh, my triggers are at 5k so there's 12 coils firing in four in three subgroups with four coils in each running a 5k trigger on about about a 0 0.09 ohm 18 wire with three wires in each coil with a trigger an independent trigger for each coil so right around 19 amps so 19 amps at 15.9 yeah I'll have to turn this off pretty quick here that's almost 16 so 3.4 amps in at 148 volts 15.9 volts out at 19.8 or 20 20 amps right around 19 20 amps and the speed is about 870 so I'm gonna call it all right I'm gonna run this thing now so the magnets are set north south north south uh, and this used to be a monopole so the only difference is the magnets are flipped I'm using the standard coil from uh, the box motor book. So let's take a look at this. So obviously it's running. So we're no longer running a monopole here. We're running a, just a north south. Uh, 18 volts. 2.4, 2.5 amps in, 20, volt, uh, 20 amps out at 14.5 into the batteries. So it's, the amperage, output amperage is climbing pretty fast here. So it's bouncing between uh, 20 and 21 amps at 15.2 volts into the batteries. Uh, we're running 144 volts in at 3.2 amps. It, it didn't help the power, I can tell. It's about the same as it was. I ran it beforehand, so... Seven hundred and forty RPM. So, and, but uh, in comparison to the small motor, the torque's not there. But the reason that a tor torque might not be there is two things. There's no iron behind those magnets, and that's different. And the spacing of the magnets is different on the large wheel. So. 
I'm going to have to play with this a little bit. But if I can run a north-south, then I can add low drag generators on the outside edge. That's a no-brainer. So, goodbye monopole. So as it's going faster, the amperage is dropping on the output. The voltage is 15.7. See, I need to dump the batteries. Uh, 3.2 amps in at 144 volts. Uh, see, it's staying right around 700, 750. Climbing real slow, but... So it's actually weaker and putting out the same numbers, but I think that has to do with the spacing. <coughs> now on a smaller motor, I could adjust the resistance and fix that, so that's going to be the next step. Because we're running 12 coils, 4 coils, and 3 subgroups on this motor. So, 3.4 in at 149 volts. 15.8 out and 19.6 volt amps. It's staying around uh, 750, 760 RPM. So definitely weaker, uh, but it's a good starting point. So this is Tech Mansion for Zero Point Fuel, signing out.